I was having some problems deploying to the web with Flutter Flame games. My text wasn't appearing. On the left is the web browser with no text. On the right is my Android emulator with text. The visual novel needs text. The solution was quite simple. I'm using a text paint to display the text. By default, the web text paint appears to be black. All we need to do is specify the color. I'll just use white from the material design colors that's built into Flutter. Now, let's test it again and see whether it works in a web browser. Oh, the text is now appearing. Perfect. This works in debug mode in a Chrome browser, but what about building it to the web and deploying it on a website? Let's check it out. I have the code for this tutorial already on GitHub. So I think I'll use GitHub Pages with this rather long repository name as the web page. Let's check out the build options for Flutter Build Web with hyphen hyphen help. And I'll see that there is a base href, which I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna attach the GitHub repo to the base href. It needs to have a slash in front of the repo name as well as at the end of it. After we do the build with the base href, which is specific to the GitHub repo that I'm using, uh, then the files will be in build slash web. I'm gonna set up GitHub pages to use the slash docs in the repo. So for this demo, I'm not gonna use the GH pages branch. What I'll do is just copy the files from build web into docs. You'll need to do this process for every build that you do. In GitHub, go to the Settings tab, then go to the Pages on the left-hand side, and then you're gonna specify the root as Docs. So on the main branch, select Docs and save it. On your local computer, just add all the files onto Git, and it'll take the new Docs directory and then commit it and push it up onto GitHub. This technique will have the entire uh, Flutter app be the web page. If you want to embed it into another web page with text on it, you'll have to use an iframe. Performance coming over GitHub pages is fantastic. The app does take a while to load the first time, but after that, it looks pretty good. In the next step, we're gonna add audio and other features onto our visual novel. There are many other videos in the 2022 Flame Tutorial series, as well as 26 videos in the 2021 series. Subscribe to the channel for future updates. These videos are on Teachable as a free course. There is no upsell as this is purely a hobby for me. I'm using Teachable only for the progress so you can see how far you have progressed with the course. It also makes it easier for me to organize the videos and the sequence of information that I'm presenting. In whatever way you choose to learn, the most important thing is to keep on trying to learn and have fun while doing it. Have a great day.